Doctors, what is the most heart-wrenching diagnosis you've ever had to give? While I was on neuroconsults, a 23-year-old girl came in complaining of a headache for six months. At first I thought she was exaggerating, possibly looking for painkillers. Then I saw she'd actually been to an outpatient neurologist, who tried every med under the sun for presumed migraines, and had gotten a CT scan and MRI without contrast and both were unrevealing. The pain became unbearable so the girl came to the hospital and was admitted for further workup. Right after she is admitted, per our recommendation, she gets an MRI with contrast which shows leptomeningeal carcinomatosis, cancer metastases all over the matter covering her brain. I had gone home for the day by the time the result was read, I was just on consult service, but the attending from the primary medical team sat down with the girl around 7 p.m. that night and explained she had cancer, and they didn't know where it was coming from yet. He explained the most likely places were either her stomach or her uterus. He asked if she wanted help in telling her family, who had also gone home to rest for the evening after being at bedside all day, but the patient decided to have tests done to find where the primary cancer was first so she would have a better idea of what the plan was moving forward when she told her family. The next day, I get to the hospital around 9 a.m. I pull up my patient list, and she's listed as not being in the hospital anymore. I thought maybe she signed out against medical advice. I opened her chart to find out that around 6.30 that morning, the patient became altered and then quickly unresponsive. Code was called, CPR started, the whole work. Her family shows up at around 7.15 a.m. to see a team of doctors doing chest compressions, the team hadn't even had time to inform them of the code yet, because it all happened so fast. Remember, these people had no idea the girl had cancer or even anything seriously wrong with her other than her headache. They were devastated and initially insisted that everything be done to keep her alive. But after witnessing a few rounds of CPR, they asked for the priest to come and give her her last rites, and she passed away. I cried so hard I couldn't see patients for most of the day. 